All right. So let's pick up where we left off. So, Ollie, uh, you find yourself at 1568 Haugen Ave um, in Gotham Heights. Um, this is the address uh, that was texted to you by your good friend, the Meg. And you know that this is uh, the home of a um, an Arkham guard by the name of Rebecca Pham. Um, and uh, Rebecca, uh, of course, uh, was one of the guards in the medical clinic uh, who uh, occasionally took shifts um, overseeing uh, or, or guarding Poison Ivy's uh, sort of containment greenhouse in in the medical clinic at Arkham. Um, and you specifically asked uh, the Meg for, for some contact, some information about somebody who, uh, who was involved there. She came through because you very kindly agreed to... Um, firebomb a an as yet uh unrevealed target for her uh in exchange for this information but you know we'll we'll figure out more about that later um but for now you have you've arrived at this uh at this address um what time of day have you decided to go and did you bring anybody with you, Ollie? Ooh, that is an interesting question. Um, did did I have time to do any like uh, did did the did, was it just a name that I got from the Meg, or did I get like a shift schedule or anything like that? You got a name and you got an address. Okay, I think Ollie has showed up and has has been watching the place. Um, from just kind of seeing when people are coming and going. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so I, th I think they have not brought anybody else into this yet. I yep. think, um, yeah, everybody, you know, all the normal, all the usual suspects are either happy on a honeymoon or real busted. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, a typical state of affairs for our for our crew, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, um, uh, how long then have you kind of been staked out here? Uh, I think, and I, I think we're on like like the sixteenth or seventeenth hour of um. Like, I, I think Ollie is trying to get an idea for uh, what kind of building is this? Uh, so it's this sort of like large brick uh, apartment building, like one of those like 20s or 30s uh, kind of kind of larger buildings. It's on the corner of the block. Um, it, uh, it it's um, it, it sort of takes up the whole corner of this of this block in in Gotham Heights. Um, there's heavy iron bars on the first and second story windows. Uh, mm -hmm. The front door has this sort of like spiderwebbed glass behind a steel gate, uh, and there are these sort of harsh um, lights that are that are illuminating the the entryway, um, the door, the front door uh, that are just you've seen. They're just on twenty four seven. Um, so that's, that's kind of the, the vibe of the building that you've been, that you've been looking at. Yeah, I think Ollie's been, um, I think Ollie's plan, uh, it, they've been watching this. I think their plan is just to slap on a, um, currently they've got the Umbra little glowing thing in the car window. So it just looks like they're, um, uh, an Umber driver that's waiting for a rideshare driver right. um, that's just chilling. Um, but I think their plan is to slap on a um, 
like a what's what's the shittiest parcel delivery service? Is it DHL or is there someone that's worse? I'm eternal enemies with laser ship personally. I was about to say laser ship. What the fuck is laser ship? Exactly. Yeah. Oh my god. Fuck laser ship. So forever. Yeah, Ollie's I've, got I've like never a, a had a laser. harder time getting a package than from from laser ship. <laughs> and, and, making statements. and that's no. an anti endorsement. Wow. This and this stream sponsored it? by LaserShip. They do. <laughs> oh, they They're do like, though. Like they'll be like, we rang the doorbell. Bitch, no the fuck you didn't. <laughs> you just weren't you just didn't even show up. God, I hate LaserShip so much. Yeah. That's that's this is your your guys' vitriol is me with FedEx in Brooklyn. <laughs> Um, because I, wa- I have watched them walk up to my door and slap a sticker on it and walk away without ringing the doorbell. Um, well, looking and I'm you like, dead I would... in the eye. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I watched you. I was here. Um, okay. Anyways, so yeah, uh, you're, so you, it's, 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 it's uh, uh, what's the Gotham version of laser I ship? Think, oh God. Laser X. I want to say phaser ship, but that's Star Trek. Yeah, I, I feel like it's something, um, let's see. Uh, oh, God, it's definitely, no, it's um, uh, it's uh, Lex Laser Ship. <laughs> it's, uh, it's Luther Ship. Luther Ship. It's oh, Luther you know, Ship. It? It's oh, so me, I, hate, I hate that we've introduced this as canon. <laughs> oh, yep, it's, Lu- it. it's Luther Ship. Luther they're, ship. They're, based in, oh, uh, they're based in Metropolis. And they are the worst. Anything um, <laughs> that that man owns is the worst. Great. Right. Okay, so it's uh, yeah. So Ollie has a down. Luther ship, uh, like jacket and hat, and yep. um, and a package, um, uh, kind of ready to go. Okay. And yeah, that 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 is what's currently going on. We're they're trying to get a vibe for when the most people are out of the building, and then they're uh-huh. going to um, enter the building. Cool. All right. So, um, I mean, this is a, uh, this is a, this is a residential building. Um, you know, most of the people who, who live here are, are kind of going out for their, uh, their, their jobs in the morning. They're coming back in the evening. So, um, if you are looking for the time when it is least occupied middle of the day, um, if you are looking for the time when this guard is most likely to be home, uh, you're probably you're probably looking at the evening. I think all yeah, Ollie is looking aiming for like the late afternoon, early evening. I think uh, so. Tell me, David, does yeah. this building have uh, individual buzzers? Like, is it the old school kind with a but like a little button for each? each apartment or is it the kind the newer kind with like the the thing where you have to cycle through that I oh hate no so much. it's it's the it's the older kind with the individual great kinds. ollie walks up and just wah, like entire hands <laughs> the entire thing and buzzes every single apartment yeah yeah i i don't think there's any question of um i don't think there's any question of whether or not this excuse me this works uh this definitely works and you know after uh after a, a second or two you hear the bring and the uh and the click uh of the front door unlocking and you can go in i hopper have never done this when i was drunk and couldn't remember what the apartment number was no but I none, remember none of us have get there none of us have ever done this ridiculous <laughs> i'm a monster um <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Ollie pops the door open. Um, I think, you know, sunglasses on, um, Luther ship hat. Uh, uh, <laughs> is it Luther ship or Luther Express? Uh, Luthex? Luthex? It's Luthex. Got, I, it's got, I feel like it's gotta be Luther ship. I... Wait, Lex X. Lex X. Lex X is disgusting. It's we have worse. to keep it. <laughs> We have to, this is the worst iteration of that, I think. Okay, well, I'm right. Ri- I've written down both Luther Ship and Lexx. So oh Hopper, maybe, oh, you are free to choose. He owns here's both. the here, here's the answer: yes. is that Luther Ship is the larger corporation, and Lexx is like the smaller uh, company within the conglomerate. Yeah, for um, sure, for sure. And so it's like Luth uh, Lexx by or 
X Lex by Luther ship is the uh, is <laughs> yeah. You're like changing it. <laughs> yeah. Lex I'm getting the statement. Write that down. Write that down. It's written this down. Is important lore. This is canon. And, uh, this is yeah. <laughs> this is this is official lore. Put it on the Just wiki. Just like goth bucks, baby. Yep. Um. All right. So Ollie, you um you enter this building. Um. Mm-hmm. You are in a a sort of um, dimly lit um, uh, lobby. You're in a dimly lit lobby. Uh, there's cracked tile floors. There's this crumbling, like ornamental plaster, um, sort of uh, covering the ceiling. Paint is peeling off of the the banisters. Um, and there, there's a bit of trash strewn here and there, uh, like some candy wrappers. I can see like a takeout container or something kind of in the corner of the lobby. And there are um, two flights of stairs on either side that uh, that go up. Um, there is, you can see directly in front of you, uh, uh, an elevator, um, but it... Uh, it very much has a, uh, a a piece of paper taped to it that says "out of service," uh, and you can tell by the 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 extremely yellowed condition of this paper that uh, <laughs> it has been out of service for quite some time. I have been in this lobby so many times in my life. Yes, yes, <laughs> I, I believe we're all familiar with this lobby. Uh, um, so. Ollie's going to take a quick look at, like, the residential directory. Um, they know uh, Re- Rebecca Pham. Is that the, yeah. the name? Yeah, Rebecca Pham. You have an apartment number. It's 6 Yeah. So Ollie wants to know, look, just check, scan the other names on the that on the sixth floor. Of God, mm. a sixth floor walk up. Ugh. Yeah, it's, it's not fun. Um, okay, what are you looking for in scanning those Just names. names. Just knowing the, just knowing what the names are. Um, okay. Uh, are you asking me to give you some names? No. It, it, it's just a, it becomes relevant. You don't have to. It, actually, okay. you know what? Fuck you. Yes. Yes, I am. Well, if you don't need them, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna come up with them. I I am setting up. Um, I actually I'm se- need them. It's really important. Um, so. Yeah, we'll. <laughs> it really we'll... matters for uh-huh. the character. <laughs> We'll find out. You see some names. Okay, Ollie. I see. Uh, I see some names. Yeah, you, um, and you, you get a couple of names. Ollie's gonna be- begin the hoof up um, to uh, to the sixth floor. You said six F. Six F. Yeah. It's so weird. My ex used to live on a sixth floor walk up in six F. Is really funny. Sorry. <laughs> like I. <laughs> Completely coincidental. Your ex is now in the game. David, yeah, are you writing this no. down? No. <laughs> no. This is no. lore. <laughs> this is lore. No. Yeah, we'll, we'll, Hell write, no. we'll write that down. Um, all right. So you you head up uh, the the stairwell. You get to the sixth floor. Um, you know you can sort of there. Uh, we're we're getting into into evening now, um, and so through the apartment doors you can hear noise of people who are home uh you know like kids shouting uh babies uh tv shows and some music kind of you know spilling through the doorways into into the hallway uh a little bit um there's probably um a a bit of the smell of of cooking coming through uh some some sort of intermingled sense of of various uh dinners that that folks are cooking in their apartments here um and you get to 6f uh it's a unit at the end of the hall on the sixth floor here always gonna give just a a firm uh firm knock Mm mm-hmm um and you hear, you know, muffled uh, be behind the door. Uh, Just a minute. Um, and then you can hear somebody on the other side of the door, you know, look through the, the peephole. 
um, clearly see that you have, you know, your your delivery hat on, um, and you hear uh, a number of uh, of locks click, uh, and the door opens. Um, you see a uh, a woman uh, in her early thirties. She has uh, bangs and a ponytail, uh, dark hair. And she is uh, still in her Arkham guards uniform. Uh, she's just gotten off her shift for the day. Um, you probably saw her um, come into the building specifically when you were downstairs, like staking the place out, right? Um, but uh, she has, you know, taken off her her like tie and and opened her her shirt again. Um, and she, she opens the door, sees that you are, are clearly a, a delivery person and says, uh, oh, hi, uh, wasn't expecting a package. Yeah, the kind of always a little bit of a surprise and, uh, Ollie is gonna pull the ring. I think Ollie's also very clearly like kind of trying to disguise their voice a little bit just in case any of the neighbors are nosy Nellies. Sure. Uh, but they're going to pull the little ring on the back of the box to activate the gra gas grenade, not the grass grenade, because that is also a possibility with this character. I mean, um, listen, if you if you get it into like a, a cow, uh, eventually it becomes a, a gas grenade. Wrong kind of gas. Um, and just okay. kind of hand it to her. Uh, okay, so we are looking at an action roll. So um, the the question is, um, are you, uh, is this an attack? Are you attacking her with gas grenade? Or um, is this like part of your skulking into the building? Are you being subtle about it? The goal is to minimize the amount of noise and um, uh, damage. Okay. So this is this is this is yeah. All right. All so... can be subtle. Fuck you guys. <laughs> you can certainly try. You can certainly try. Uh, Ollie's cool. Doing their best. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, Dragon Ollie Day, huh? This this is a pretty smooth operation so far. <laughs> yeah. So far. So far. Um, okay, cool. So uh, we're, we're looking at a, a roll with your Skulk rating. Um, I don't think you're down anything. Uh, you know, there, there's no, there's no like level disparity or, or anything. Um, probably as, as an Arkham guard, she's level one, right? You're level one. So we're flat there. Um, and then, um, uh, and then to uh, gain dice if you want you can always push yourself take a devil's bargain i don't think you're in a desperate situation because this is pretty controlled on your end so yeah you want to roll it you you know what i'm gonna ask about you know what, what what's the devil's bargain uh yeah okay so the the devil's bargain is uh and this this first part, to be clear, is established regardless. Uh, as you sort of shove the the package into uh, into this guard's hands, um, you hear from the other room in the apartment, "Mom, is dinner ready yet?" Uh, and her kids are here. So the devil's bargain is going to be that one or more of her her children are going to come out. And witness this scene. They want the chicken nuggies. They just wanted some chicken nuggies. How could you, Holly? Well, let's find out with her. I'm about to kidnap her mom. Um, <clears throat> no, fuck that. Uh, I'm going to push myself. Thank you. Okay. I cordially invite the devil to go fuck itself. And that is a five and a six on the dice. Okay, six. Uh, cool. So six, you do it is exactly as you intend. Uh, so you push, uh, you know, you you sort of push this box uh, into into her hands, pull the uh, 
pull the grenade, um, and uh, this uh, this plume of gas bursts up I- into her face. She starts coughing and stumbling back into the apartment. You probably, you know, you like push her yeah. in a little bit. Um, you, I mean, with a, with a six, I think you can pretty efficiently like, you know, elbow the door shut behind you uh, as you as you enter. Um, and uh, she very quickly, uh, like coughing, uh, sort of falls to her knees and collapses on the floor. Uh, and maybe her her head is like smashed into the uh, into the Hollywood. now clearly empty cardboard box. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Ollie would probably grab that grenade and just toss it into the other room to try to also knock the children out oh my god i'm sorry what (laughs) wow not lethal that that's gonna be separate okay (laughs) if you want to do that um yeah yeah, i'm gonna roll that okay uh and what's the devil's bargain david i i don't i don't see any way around this being uh an attack you attack the children with the gas grenade (laughs) sorry like it's if, knockout wait. gas in my defense it's not uh, okay gas. okay you could you could perhaps be i would also accept you are um uh you are you are quickly maneuvering the the grenade uh, out both of, the of space. those both of those are the same number of pips it doesn't matter okay. i'm more clarifying because i feel bad as a player <laughs> all right but uh, yes i would like to roll to attack the children with my knockout gas grenade listen i just needed to hear you say it I nobody just clipped the words that out of nobody clipped that but this immediately please but this immediately okay um i mean you have a level on these children so uh you're you're up one um you can push yourself don't make me come up with the devil's bargain for this hopper please don't, do you don't need do to? It. Do you don't need do to hear it? it? <laughs> just, just a little bit of devil's bargain as a treat. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. I can't wait for Ed to roll up to the 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 fucking yard after this and be like, "Oh, Ollie, how was your day? How's your morning been? What'd you do? I ho- sure hope you didn't attack any fucking children." God. <laughs> Yes, surprise. Uh, okay, Devil's Bargain. <laughs> Devil's Bargain is going to be that um, you will you will in doing this lose some stealth on this uh, on this maneuver, and uh, you are going to in in you know bonking the grenade into the other mm-hmm. room will create enough of a ruckus that uh, one of the neighbors uh, is going to hear it. Yeah. Um. So it sounds like there's two kids here. Is that correct? Uh, I'm, I'm not going to take the devil's bargain. Don't know as of, okay. as of yet. You Ollie's going to pick up the grenade very gingerly. Because um, those suckers are usually hot as hell. Um, and um, and just kind of uh, just kind of uh, poke their head around the corner to, to, to quickly scope out the room. I it's Gotham. I can't imagine these apartments are very big. No, this is this is definitely a, a pretty cramped uh, apartment. This is like a, a a one and a half bedroom at best. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you you know you you can see there's there's a very short hall just to the the left of the door where you entered. Um, there is a uh, you heard the the kid's voice um, coming from uh, coming from the room at the uh, at the very end if you glance uh, you know if you glance in there you can see that the door is open just a crack um yeah I think uh, I think Ollie is going to s- just quiet quickly and quietly walk down the hallway make sure that there's nobody else in the any other room bathroom whatever just quick peeks and then um, toss the uh, open the door just enough to look in and toss the grenade in there okay yeah and to be clear bathroom dark nobody in there there's a another bedroom you you poke your head in uh i think that i think the door is open to both of those you don't have to even you can just glance uh Mm -hmm. nobody in there uh and uh if you if you 
poke your head into the the bedroom at the end, you get a quick glance of um, two kids uh, who are, are sitting on there's like a bunk bed, um, and one is on one is on each level, um, and you just sort of slip the the grenade in there. Um, so yeah, now now we're talking about uh, maneuver. It, it could be maneuver, skulk, or attack. Honestly, uh, uh, maneuver maneuver is what I'm going to go with. Um, right. It feels the most maneuvery. Um, that is a two, three, six, six. Because okay, another, I have a level six. on them and I have two pips. Yeah, yep. another six. You're doing you're doing great. Uh, you you just drop the uh, the grenade in there, uh, back off from the door. Um, you, you, you hear, uh, coughing, uh, two, two, you know, like, uh, two kids coughing for, uh, a couple of seconds, uh, and then, uh, uh, and then it's quiet. Yeah. Ollie opens the door, grabs the grenade, quickly walks down the hall, drops it in the toilet, shuts the lid, and then is going to go back and check the pulses on the kids, um, and pick them up and put them on whatever bed is in the room. Yeah, um, I mean they're they're both passed out on the beds already. You know, there there's a, a a slightly older kid on the top, a slightly uh, younger kid on the bottom. Um, uh, probably, I don't know. Let's say uh, there, there's like a a ten year old and like a maybe like a six seven year old. Um, cool. some they're fine. Nerve gas. They're fine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, with with a uh, with a Listen, six every. Every Gothamite child has built up some immunity to nerve <laughs> yeah. gas over yeah, the years. Pre- yeah. The, yeah. The amount of latent like laughing tox like laughing toxin or whatever, smiling smiling gas. What what is it? Um, the actual Listen, the toxin. There's the so toxin. many different Joker kinds toxin. of gases. Yeah. There's in like Gotham eight. City. There's fear gas, 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 laughing gas. <laughs> Like the just the passive like parts per million has got to be fucking weird. And then just think about all the latent chemicals that are just in like the dust. Whatever in Gotham. the fuck Clayface is made of, whatever Freeze puts in his shit. Yeah, is oh. everybody just kind of here. is everybody kind of breathing Clayface all the time? It's, yeah, it's, there, it's Gotham's version of what? My, what are they called? Microplastics. Yeah, yeah. microplastics. Yeah, micro. But it's just some dude micro shed. that guy, micro dude. <laughs> micro that. <laughs> Anyways, Ollie checks to make sure that they are both safe and healthy. Um, yeah, you like know their their pulses are attack. their pulses are slow, but uh, they're they they seem to be okay. Um, and then is going to uh, go back. Is there like a living room area? Yeah, so the the door opened directly into this sort of like combined living room dining area. Um, there's um, there's a, a kitchen table uh, there, which is covered in homework and bills. Um, there's a couch over in in another corner with a coffee table and some side tables. Uh, TV um, on one wall. There's um, a, a couple of like shelves. Uh, with stuff on them kind of shoved uh, into the sides of this space. Um, you know, everything is is sort of very, like, close together and, and cramped, um, but this is sort of, like, the main, the main like, living dining room of the, of the apartment. My New Yorker apartment feels attacked. Um, uh, so Ollie is going to take one of these dining room chairs um, and uh, just kind of pick up um, this this uh, this re- woman Rebecca, this guard, and yep. uh, plop her into it uh, and um, pull out a set of handcuffs and uh, cl- run it through. I think underneath the chair, so like she is fully um, fully secured. Yep, and she's not awake yet. Correct. Nope. Uh, you can you can wake her up as you choose, or you can sit and wait. They're going to go into what uh, I assume there's like a bedroom area that is like probably her space. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was the um, so there's there's that little hall. There's a, a bathroom. There's a small there, and there's two small bedrooms. There's there the uh, the kids' bedroom was at the end of the hall, and then sort of um, you know. Uh, 90 degrees perpendicular to it is the door to uh a a another bedroom which uh you can see has like you know uh like a full size bed in it 
Uh, so Ollie is going to uh, just quickly search that room, um, looking for documents, uh, computers, any extra phones, any sort of safe for hidey holes. Mm. Um, okay, cool. Uh, let's have a roll to study the room, I think. God, I feel bad, man. Listen, <laughs> nothing... Uh, Nothing in Gotham is some easy. Or something? Like, but why would you feel? Where Feels you weird. Bad? I think I would remember that. Um, mm -hmm. So this would be a a what roll? A study roll? Yeah, you're you're studying the room. I'm gonna push myself for this to get one dice. Okay. Um, I swear I took a point in study. Oh no, it's a two. Two. So yeah. Okay. Uh, two things get worse. Uh, so you, um, uh, you, you toss the, uh, you toss the room, um, and you are not finding anything of any particular use here. There's her, um, you know, she's taken off her badge, uh, which she, she's put in like a little, um, like tray on, on her dresser. Um, there are, there's, there's paperwork, um, but it's, it's all very like, you know, day in, day out, here's your shift schedule, uh, that, that kind of thing. I mean, you, you know, you can see from the paperwork, yes, she, she has regular shifts at the, um, at the medical clinic. Um, and, uh, is this just her shift schedule or is it the, sh the shift schedule? Uh, that's a good question. They probably don't have an individualized, uh, yes. shift schedule, right? That, that wouldn't make any sense. So yeah, there, it's probably a shift schedule for her unit. Ollie's going to take, uh, take some, pull, pull, pull a cell phone out, take a few, uh, okay. quick pictures. Yeah. Yeah, you can you can definitely uh, you can definitely do that. Um, it's like a luxury BlackBerry from like 2014. Yeah, yeah. Um, however, uh, with a two, um, you're gonna have a ticking clock now. So um, you uh, the buzzer rings, the door buzzer. Mm. Beep. And Excellent. there is somebody downstairs who wants to get into this apartment you have limited time all right um ollie goes back out flips off all the lights it's just um, my three, it's, it's fine. <laughs> five out of five <laughs> um flips off all the lights and um and um and uh is uh i, I think just um just kind of gives her a gentle like um i don't know like face face slap yeah whatever, sure. whatever you want to call it. it's not really a slap it's like an aggressive pat yeah a buffet just a one you know a little, a little love tone. well hey wake up uh yeah and she she sort of like starts to come to oh, oh where am i oh god oh god how about hey hey or sorry hey how about uh you keep your voice down if you don't want things to get very ugly very quickly. Okay, listen, my purse is in the bedroom. There's there's an envelope with cash in the top dresser drawer. Just take it. Just take it and go. Any Anything you want, just take it. Just don't hurt me. Don't hurt my kids. Whatever you want, okay? Yeah. We're not, we're not here for money. What do you want? Your guard at Arkham, who recently worked with, <clears throat> uh, in the medical unit overseeing uh, Isley's detention. Yeah? What? Yeah. That wasn't a question. We know who you are. I need to know some things. Who was working on her? Need names. 
and things are going to get very ugly if you do not give me names. I, I, I don't have any names. I, but I can tell you stuff. Okay. I just, the only thing that I did was, was escorting the, the scientists in and out to see her. I, I didn't, I didn't get their names. Yeah, it, it, it was, there was a, there was a rotating group there. There might've been uh, uh, maybe five at a time, but like uh, 10, 15 total, they, they switched. How many, how often descriptions and where did they come from and who told you to let them in? Uh, like I said, it, it was it was a group of, of 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 it was more than ten. It was less than twenty, and and they were they were just coming in in smaller groups. I um I, it, it it was it was direct from the warden. They they were they were um uh, they, they they were ace chemical. I I don't know more about it than that. They they weren't with the asylum though. Some of the some of the asylum doctors helped them. Um. In in whatever they were doing, and you were there when they were doing what they were doing. In the you 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 you've seen the the greenhouse. Do you know about that? We know about the greenhouse. Okay, yeah. Only only the scientists went in there. I I I, I just stood. Outside, I was just guarding the doors. Yeah, just guarding. Mm. That's, I'm sorry, that's my job. You know, you've got a really nice little family here. Please, I'll tell you anything that I know. Just don't hurt them. Oh, I would never hurt them. I'm not a monster. I don't, we don't tamper with, cut into, experiment on helpless, innocent people. That's what you do. Or you enable it, which is just the, about the same thing. I'm just trying to make a living and raise my kids, okay? I can respect that. What I don't respect is what you chose to do. And think about how much harder this is going to be for your kids if you aren't around. Okay, so what 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 else do you need to know? What did they call each other? Like names? Yes, names. I don't know. It was... It was a bunch of people. They didn't really talk to me. They what, checked you in. You heard the, something. They checked in at the desk, and and they and they and they went into the. They they went in. Who would uh, have their names? I I don't I don't know. Like I said, they 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 were Ace Chemical. You would have to talk to somebody from Ace Chemical. Mm -hmm. You know, I grew up without parents, and it didn't work out so great for me. So you might want to think very hard before you keep telling me you don't know anything. I'm telling you everything I know. I, it, names. Um, uh, one of them was uh, a, a, a Dr. Uh, Rodriguez. Uh, there, there was a, a Dr. Uh, Chen. There was a Dr. Uh, 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 Smith. I, I don't remember. What's your supervisor's name? My my supervisor. Yep. Uh, um. Uh, now I have to come up with the name for the supervisor. <laughs> uh, Everybody good. Uh, 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 James, Leslie James. 
You happen to know where he is? Where does he live? I don't. I don't. I don't know where he lives. Uh, uh somewhere, uh, somewhere uptown. Where's your cell phone? It, it, it's it's in the bedroom. It's it's on the it, it, it's uh, it's on the dresser. All right. Maybe you should find a new line of work. It's, if you need the cell phone, take the cell phone. I'm gonna take the cell phone. really advise against talking to anybody at work or at Ace Chemicals. Got a long reach. And if we hear that you started talking to your co-workers and um, Ollie's going to drop one of the names, like uh, start listing the names of her co-workers from the shift schedule. Um, mm, yeah, sure. And then I think casually drop in a couple of the names of, or, or you start talking to neighbors or friends, like, and just listing a, a few more names. This mm -hmm. would be a very different visit. And it would be a real shame if your kids ended up in an orphanage as we know exactly how bad those are in Gotham. Okay, I understand. I understand. I'm going to leave the key in the other room. Your kids are going to be fine. When they wake up, they'll let you out. We're watching. So keep quiet. Like I said, maybe you should find a new line of work. One that requires a little bit less moral compromise. And she kind of swallows and and nods at you silently and emphatically. Uh, Ollie is going to very quickly go into the other room, grab that cell phone, um, and then walk out, uh, shut the door. Um, and then get into the hallway and just, <coughs> um, and, uh, I think yeah. heads for, uh, is there, uh, is there a second, is there like a second set of stairs on the far end of the building? Yep. Yeah. There's, there's two, yeah, there's that. two staircases that both go down to the lobby. Yeah. I think head for that. Um, and, uh, try to slip out. All right. Cool. Um, I think you are you are able to do that without much in the way of difficulty. Um, so you head down out the building and back to your car with some new information. So Ali, um, you with your uh, new information in tow are gonna head back to home base, the yard. Um, and you um, you arrive uh, there. It is um, uh, again. Uh, I think you you're coming um, you're, you're coming directly from from where you were uh, back. So uh, you know we're we're still sort of uh, we're getting into the into the evening here, um, and we see uh, we see you. Um, pull up uh, and go through the gates of the yard. Um, we are underneath the grimy metal underbelly of a uh, of a suspension bridge. Um, the uh, above there's this rattle and drone of cars and trucks passing over the roadway um, uh, over the over the the river between two of Gotham's boroughs, um, down below uh, the steel trusses near where the bridge is anchored on the shore, um, we see this lot in in the bridge's shadow, which is surrounded by these towering walls 
of corrugated metal. There are these piles of rusting cars stacked inside, uh, which are absolutely covered in rainbows of, of spray paint, uh, various uh, various tags and, and graffiti designs. Um, and and this is this is the yard. Uh, and Ollie, you you pull through uh, through the gate, uh, and we can see your your vehicle um, coming to rest in the in the center of the yard, um, where uh, there are several buses, uh, wheelless. They're they're up on blocks, uh, lined uh, lined up and and sort of spaced out, with their roofs replaced with this uh, clear plastic. Um, it's the middle of winter, you know, like it's, it's the, it's the, uh, it's, we're right at the beginning of January. Um, but underneath those, uh, those plastic roofs of the buses, we can see greenery flourishing inside. Um, Ollie, what, what are some things that grow in the greenhouse buses in the center of the yard? Um, it is primarily, um, there, there is some carrots, uh, but it is primarily, uh, lettuce, tomatoes, and, um, spinach. And, uh, I, I want to say, like, um, maybe some snap peas. Mmm, lovely. Yeah, so we can see the, the sort of, like, leaves and vines of those, those various plants climbing up through the, through the windows. Um, and, uh, I think, uh, there, there's vines that actually kind of spill out, uh, from, from underneath the floor, uh, and sort of wind their way, uh, across the, the, the sort of dirt of the yard. Um, yeah, uh, Ollie, uh, and I will also throw this to Adam. Are there any other important descriptive details about the, the yard that you want to highlight because uh ali as you um as you you know leave your leave your car uh and close the door um you see um near the uh the sort of hangar garage uh at at one end of the yard um a uh a familiar figure who i i don't think you've seen in a long time and that is uh adam jimenez um so the two of you uh the two of you are there uh any any other details about the yard that you want to highlight yeah i think uh another a major factor about the yard is that it's kind of this weird urban canyon or grotto almost in the sense that there are there's just like in some places up to 30 or 40 cars high this massive walls of old wrecks that have kind of formed this like just really really large industrial lot into this odd little odd little canyon that in in the summer is covered in vines and paintings and like all these flowering things and then there's like terraced areas where there's gardening that's been being done in like the back of old truck beds that it uh it, it's 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 a really it's a multi-tiered area with like um that like is both like one giant tetanus uh hazard but also like um i think covered in a lot of graffiti from at this point generations of kids um and then there's another structure in the center that is like a semi it's like uh one of the uh, trailers that's been uh like a like you know like the trailers they use for like schools um like those sure. uh like the building like the, the they're kind of like uh um trailer homes but they're not but they're like a little bit more boxy even yeah and like with, with less like windows flat walls yeah like they're like the shitty double wides um yep. because our education system is a nightmare um and yeah so there's like two or three of those that have been kind of uh co combined or two of those combined with like a couple shipping containers uh and then had weirdly leveled um, that's like a central community area and then a couple like Quonset hut style um, like garage areas where there's like clearly like cars in various states of repair or disassembling um, yeah. and we should with, also uh, note that 
that one of those huts is, is uh, which we have seen before, uh, which is the the hut where you are, uh, I, I guess, taking care of poison ivy. Let's let's say that. Um, but yeah. you know that we we definitely make note of in the corner one of the huts with uh, just a lot of light uh, and and greenery. Uh, spilling mm-hmm. out of whatever um, whatever windows or openings we can see. Uh, yeah, I think that's the one that's like partially buried by cars on one end, and then has like skylights installed yeah. all over the front of it. Yeah. Um, the uh, only thing that I want to add is that yep. this this specific graffiti is plastered, uh, and it says "Gotham City is hell." Yep. Um, Scuttle, reach over the Batman. Yeah, and that's um, that's that's big uh, on. Uh, it's a big burner piece. Yeah, uh, yeah, on the side. Yeah, that's that's like I think directly on one of the like uh, one of the metal walls. Is this on like a bridge pylon or like a Quonset hut, or is this like on like one of these like kind of? disjointed walls of old vehicles it's more on the walls itself um rather than on any of the huts or oh i'm just picturing like is it right there when you drive in through the front gate like you see it on the back wall Mm. i'm just picturing this in the summer where it's framed by plant growth and then like there's this area where you just have this big looming mural that's so cool Yes, I love that. Yeah. Uh, so, Ollie, yeah, you you get out of the car. Um, you see, uh, you see Adam uh, across the across the yard, and uh, Adam is uh, is chatting with Scraps, the the yard's proprietor. Um, this is a um, uh, a guy in his mid sixties, black. He has white hair and uh, white beard. Um, and he's in a he's sitting in a wheelchair made of uh, this sort of welded metal tubing that's been painted green um old, older guy like i said you know mid mid 60s but his upper body is just jacked uh and uh when he uh when he sees you get out of the car uh ollie he uh he he just sort of like scoots to the side, waves, uh, and, and calls across the yard to you. Uh, hey, Ollie! Look who decided to come by! I think Ollie does like a <laughs> um, from a distance, and then um, moseys moseys in that general direction. Um, Having dumped the, uh, what, 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 where are we at? Where are we at on this cursed name? Um, Lex <laughs> Express uh, yeah, jacket. Express. Yeah. Um, oh, well, already. If I didn't get exactly what I wanted for my 20th birthday. A sense of humor? You got Thursday. like, you grew, you grew like six inches or something, buddy. Yeah, uh, that's what happens when it's been um, eight years. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. Has it really somebody been that long? hasn't been coming around very often and uh, is leaving us high and dry here. Hmm. And, and Adam Scraps looks up at you very pointedly. Look, I look. I got the grant, and then I had school, and then I didn't have school, and now I'm here. Whoa, okay. Uh, anyway. Hey, I, I'm just, I'm up? just Josh and you, kid. We're glad to have you back. Thanks, Scraps. That means a lot, man. I, I suggest that the only other permanent resident of the scrapyard makes an appearance. Uh, who is the cat? The cat. Yeah. Uh, So so uh, behind scraps uh, trotting out from the the hangar garage, uh, we see uh, the the yards uh, primary, most important resident, obviously. Uh, Ollie, give us a description of this cat. Uh, massive, just absolutely like one of those cats where you're like, are you sure that's not a bobcat? Um, Like. Definitely like Maine Coons, Maine Coon, but 
brolic cousin have you seen the picture that the cat that looks like ron perlman um <laughs> like that but gray uh a little got a few little scars here and there and i think upon seeing adam immediately starts uh purring to, in this uh aggressive nature that is what got uh what got him his name which is uh two stroke um because he sounds like a two stroke engine yep uh Beauty yeah so Beauty. so two stroke kind of ambles out of the uh of the the hangar garage uh adam and you know uh, comes up to you and is just immediately like all Jesus. over your legs like like rubbing you know yeah, oh, this well. is a cat that can rub your knees. Hey, right. I guess Two Stroke I... remembers you. That's good. Oh my fucking god! I just got out of the zoo. Christ! Put this thing back. Uh, uh, this thing got fucking big. Okay. Uh, it's hey, bud. How you doing? And just yeah, like come here, buddy. Come and, here. And, and the way that a dog person interacts with a cat is like trying to like do too much scrunkling. Uh, and it's it's just like I think two stroke like tolerates it because they're familiar with Adam. But yeah, two stroke is is, is is excited to see you. Uh, at, but uh, at, at, as you as you as you do the too much scrunkle, uh, he definitely like like starts to just like uh, like gnaw on your hand a little bit uh, in a way that is. That is clearly friendly, but also maybe just a little too aggressive. Uh, and okay. then, and Scraps right. shakes a, a little thing of treats uh, that that he has like tucked into the the cup holder of his of his chair, uh, and uh, and two stroke with a little uh, kind of uh, goes over and jumps into Scraps' lap, uh, hunkers down, uh, and uh, uh, you know starts starts nibbling on a treat out of his hand. Wow. Okay. Um. What a cute cat. Um. Yeah, he got pretty hey, big, huh? He, he he did. Uh, and Adam, uh, is uh finally gonna walk up to Ollie and just give him a big hug. It's yeah, good to see you think- again. I, I think this is uh, Ollie has the cat that uh, they have the cat that was surprised to be picked up face for a second and then gives you like a, gives a very hearty hug in return. Um, uh, it's been too long. It's been so long and like that's out loud, but then whispered, I have a, I have a job for you. I think Ollie looks past the uh, past uh, um, Adam and like then does a little, a little head scruffle, mm-hmm. um, and is looking to see if Scraps heard that. Uh, let's just do a, a little fortune roll, uh, a- Adam. Let's get a fortune roll with your sure. skull rating as you're trying to be. Uh, okay. As you're, you're trying to be. Well, I, I got one stealthy skull? about this. Yeah, Ollie is scrunkling you while this is happening. Cool. This is the verb of the day. <laughs> I got a three. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, Scra- Scraps is like, uh, oh, all right. So that's why you're showing up today, huh? No, oh, it's not. I mean, what? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, you you just didn't you you didn't just feel like uh, stopping by to see your your old friend Scraps who practically raised you and no, promised Scraps, your mama to keep you out of trouble. Me. Don't do this to me. I love you very much, and I did come here because I did want to see you. I do. I promise you that. That uh-huh, is real and legitimate, uh-huh. honest feelings from the bottom of my heart, my wellspring. Yeah, kid. E- every every word you say is just making it worse. You know that, right? I did come to see you. All right. Well, if uh, you kids got to talk business, then uh, have at it. Is this a uh, is this a conversation that I should not hear? Probably. All right. All right. Oh, hey. <laughs> Everybody's coming around today. 
Uh, Scraps looks past you and uh, we see um, Ed and Jackie uh, entering the yard through the uh, through the gates. Um, Ed and Jackie, what are the what are the two of you doing at the yard this evening? Why have you decided to come around? Uh, and did you come together or separately? <laughs> Ed, how long did you stay at my apartment? Uh, all day. <laughs> okay, yeah, so we came together. I had to get you out of there. <laughs> um, I Also, I think Jackie is holding a rather bedraggled-looking aloe vera plant because she saw it at, in a storefront that looked like it was dying, so she thought uh, she'd bring it by. <laughs> Aw. Hey! Wow, uh, lots of people here. Molly, how's it going? Oh, oh, shit! Is that... Do my eyes deceive me? Is that... Is that... Is that... Is that... Dot, dot, dot in the flesh? Who? Oh. Oh. You see that big, beautiful... You know, the... You know the the t- you know the one with the dots. The they call them tags, right? They're, they're called oh, tags, right? That's right. That's the cute little name you uh, started using, right? What the baby face kid? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a very it's a reputable name. It's it's called a it's called a writer tag. Okay, it's it's very a writer. T- it's. It's very legitimate. Uh, yeah, kid's yes. got to build up his uh, rep, hey, uh, right? Yes, thank you, Scraps. Uh, I brought something for Ivy. Um, thought she might like this. It looked like it was having a hard time, and I thought maybe she might be able to fix it. I think. Oh. I think it's an owl. Oh, you know, plant. You, you all know each other. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, Who? You. Introductions. Introductions. This is um. This is Ed, who somehow knows who you are, which is wild. Um, like, I know it. Oh, wait, you know each other? Yeah, we used to work yeah. together. Yeah, you used to work for oh. Riddler. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Yeah. Back in back in my Riddler days. Yeah, you still, oh. you still, uh, uh, I see the, you got the hat. Um, I'm still, still working. Yep. 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 That's awesome. How's that going? How's uh oh sorry, we gotta... my introduction. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt y'all. No, it's all good. It's all good. It's all it's it's fine, Ed. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, so uh Adam, Hi. yeah, so you know Ed and then this is Jackie. Yeah, uh hey. We uh um, we kinda work together now. Sometimes you... I don't yeah, know if you'd you, come around once or twice, uh, you might know that uh, these guys hang out here all the time. Oh, oh, all right. oh look, okay. Scraps, he's, look, he's, uh, he's, uh, uh, Adam, he's a hard, oh, excuse me, dot, dot, dot. You know, you. he really puts in the, uh, the hours, you know, for the Riddler. He's, uh, the Riddler's top guy, you know, he's always on top a job guy, for the huh? boss. He looks yeah. like he's 13. No Excuse me, I just turned 20. I'm a legal adult now. I'm, and I oh, have been for the past 20, two years. I'm so I've, sorry. Yeah. Thank you. you all if you have like to say I'm a, if you have to to say me, I'm so. a legal adult. <laughs> <laughs> I also very briefly want to describe the fact that Adam looks like a little baby Pedro Pascal. Like, <laughs> oh, just, oh, yeah. just real Adorable. chubby cheeks, a little bit of peach. Like, like <laughs> peach fuzz is finally growing in a little solid. Adorable. So, uh, you know, the rest of these idiots. Yep. Uh, I'm so sorry. You look so familiar. Oh, it's, um, Mary. This is Mary's big sister. Oh, shit, Mary? Oh, yeah. um, yeah. Jackie Ripley. Nice to meet you. Uh, Adam's face, like, drops a little bit, and he's like, Oh! But... 
Pleasure's mine. Good. To... Can't oh, catch down. Did. It's gonna be fine. Okay. She don't um, bite <laughs> hard. Usually, and I'm semi-retired. Don't worry about it. What does the semi and semi-retired mean? I mean, it means if you got a good enough job, maybe I reconsider retirement. Speaking of job, I yeah. have a job. If you were interested. Don't, I don't know if you're busy with any and... other tomfoolery. I love that you say, like, are you busy with that? And there's Jackie in a knitted sweater holding an aloe vera <laughs> plant. She's doing great. <laughs> yeah. Depends on the job. monster energy drink. <laughs> I'll leave you kids to your scheme, and uh, I'd say don't get into any trouble, but I know that that is simply not an option. Uh, no. Scraps have oh. gone three months with no trouble. All right, more power to you, Jackie. I don't get, like, a, a sticker or anything? Do you want with scraps? Fuck I can, go, no. I can go find a sticker. Wait, we actually have can stickers I here? Sticker? I got, like, decal. When did you start giving out stickers, Scraps? You've softened. <laughs> I think technically we're still a, a, a state certified inspection station as well. So you want to get uh, re you want to get your registration? Oh, yeah, you know, I you, can. You, uh, I can give you an inspection sticker. It'll, it'll say that you're certified through uh, the next five years. Hell yeah, actually, I'd love that. Great, great. Le come on. Uh, come on, two stroke. Let's uh, let's go find <laughs> Jackie a sticker. It seems very important to her. Hey, <laughs> a sticker that says I did a good job. <laughs> Remember what I promised your mama. Promised her you'd stay safe as long as you were in here, okay? Surf scraps. All right. I, I read you. All right, have fun, you kids. Okay. Uh, and as, as he um, as he wheels back into the the hangar garage, um, Ollie uh, scraps just sort of catches your eye with a a like. Uh, uh, a bit of a like, uh -huh. yeah, a, a, a bit of a combination of uh, we'll talk later and like watch the kid. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the look you give to an older sibling where it's both a threat and a uh, yes <laughs> and a request. It is it is that it is that look. Uh, yeah, and the uh, the four of you are uh, are uh, relatively uh, relatively alone uh, in the yard. Um, you can you know you can stand out here in the cold, or you could uh, get into uh, get into one of the trailers or, or something like that if you would prefer. You want to hop into it? I've just been gripping this one over here, not the one of those skylights that seems really involved yeah um how yeah let's let's go and... prove it up oh, oh and and no more please. slang from the youth for you no please you're at you're at quota i haven't even so i haven't even gotten started yet oh no but i've been dealing with you all day <laughs> <laughs> oh that's where you've been okay all right, whatever. Let's go. Let's go over to the to the old garage. I think that that might yeah, be a good place. Yeah, I think to, that's uh, good. I think that's great. And the heat's on. It's basically two strokes now. So, um, sure. and uh, there is the remains of like a an, an actual ass garage. Um, mm -hmm. That's like it's not in disrepair, but I think it's a little small. It's a little. Um, it's a little. Uh, it's a little cinder block building that's kind of right up right up against uh, one of the walls. Um, United observers might note that this is actually the the exit to the secret entrance uh, to the yard. Um, and uh, there's a little office space with like um, with like, you know, a desk, some old old chairs and whatnot. And, but it, the heat's on um, and uh, there's a fridge. And uh, I think uh I think there's a bunch of kombucha I traded a while back in Ooh. here. If you guys want kombucha, absolutely I do. <laughs> and <laughs> grabs two and just yeah. Actually, no, Jackie doesn't go them. in for that stuff. Yeah, like it's, sure? it's like it's no, like it's they use the like kombucha lady meme where it's like 
Yeah, it's like uh, some some dude, some I don't know, some rich preppy dude started uh, the company recently. It's like they use black tea or something. It's like si Sionis something. <laughs> oh, I heard of that guy. All right, well, yeah, we're, we're writing that down. Sionis Roman Sionis is in kombucha. Mask makes kombucha. <laughs> That's uh, extremely good. Very good. <laughs> it's actually really good. It tastes great. It's called something really sh shitty like like Cybooch. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! I'm, I, we gotta call it Cybooch. We have to call it there after Cybooch. Uh, I would oh. love to unhear things sometimes. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, so all of you, <laughs> so all, all of you, uh, all of you enter, uh, and uh, Adam, you are ready to pitch this job uh, to uh, Ollie and uh, and their buds, um, and just as you walk through the door into this uh into this garage adam uh your phone buzzes in your pocket um you quickly glance down and you see a text from the riddler that just says tick tock and that is where we'll leave it for now So, no stress. Uh, thank you for joining us on Manapod Studios for Streets of Gotham. Streets of Gotham runs Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, you can also go over to youtube.com slash Studios to watch past games, including our entire first arc, which is up there now. Once again, I've been David. You can check out my tabletop RPGs at dbb-8.hitch.io including In the Dark, which is the simplified multi-setting version of Blades in the Dark that we've been playing right here. Um, I'm also on Instagram, Mastodon, Hive, other social media, at Brunel Brutman. And with that, I will uh, kick it over to our cast for their uh, shout outs and plugs. Uh, hey, everybody. My name is Andre. I go by he, they pronouns. And I am a TTRPG illustrator, designer, and actual play performer. You can check me out at, at Andrevera Art on uh, Instagram and Twitter, as well as at my uh, professional portfolio website, andrevera.art, where you can see not only my uh, portfolio work, but also uh, all the actual plays that I've been in, including uh, The Atomless, Tragedy of the Illusion, Unicorn Hunt, Redline, Power Rangers, The Next Generation, which was a very fun uh, two-shot? Uh, One-shot? I don't remember. Um, and uh, and now, Streets of Gotham. Um, and uh, check my social media if my commissions are open. What's up, everybody? Like a serpent, I'm shedding the skin of Ed and now becoming Maddie once again. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was fun. Uh, you can find um, my art um, at mattycourtney.com, M-A-T-T-I-E, um, and or you can check out my Instagram, which is Seller Tater. Um, and I don't really, I don't, I I never think far enough ahead. I don't have anything to plug today, so I'll just plug Manapot. Every I'm just gonna cop out and say everything that everybody else said. Go check that out. That's good. Yep. Yes, what's up? Still me, still Hopper. Sorry about that. Um, uh, once again, my pronouns are they, them. I have been playing Ollie, who is also a they, them user. Um, and uh, I, um, I'm i fine. I'm totally normal. I definitely didn't gas grenade a bunch of children and uh, their mom in the dark like a creeper. Um, and uh, look, um, Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. This is going to be a this is going to be a rough season for me, huh? Um, just a little guy. He's just I'm just a, just a little guy. 
the little guy. Okay. Um. Anyways, I would like to plug um this show because everybody on it is so much fun and so cool and so compassionate, and I appreciate the chance to do this while all of you. Um. I would also like to plug Party of One podcast with Jeff Stormer, which is a actual play podcast where every week they play a new uh, game with two people. Um, using new systems and cool systems and it's super fucking dope and you should check it out and if you would like to find more of my dumb content you can follow me on a lot of places under fail deadly that is with a three instead of an e or if you would like to see my higher quality content um, or still potentially dumb but higher quality um you can follow me under the legend tree uh where i'm on on twitch that is the legend tree with uh underscores instead of spaces uh currently we are occasionally doing gloomhaven every so often um and it's just a fun playthrough and we are also continuing our um home game promoted to a stream of dark visions not all monsters are in the manual which is a gritty 5e it's an evil campaign um unfortunately the evil players all banded together and then from my west marches game and then they did really well and now they're the highest level characters and i haven't been able to kill them yet um <laughs> but uh yeah it's super cool because it's a high lethality game every episode might be the last because i might finally kill these fuckers um anyways uh that's it for me Hello, uh, I will remain uh, Marcy, aka Experimental Madness. Again, the username you can find me most places around the internet. Uh, I am still a writer and editor by day, uh, and then by night I get to do shows like this with all these amazing people, uh, and I'm going to keep these plugs brief. Uh, basically, check out Manipod Studios, check out Flights of Fandom, uh, the hole in the world that's still currently on hiatus but should be back soon. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff on our YouTube channel. Go ahead and give it a watch, give it a like, maybe comment. Uh, and yeah, that's all I got. Okay, then with that, we will see you next time right here on Streets of Gotham. <laughs>